time. Thank you for joining us online and everybody who is in this church. If you have ever missed any of those parts, I will please, I will beg you to go take time and read this. Because every part is almost like 45 minutes to one hour. But in one hour, we are, we are covering a lot of things. Most of the people who are old Calvarians, you know that we spent two, almost more than two years to complete the book of Revelation in 2011 and 2012. We went verse by verse. Now we are not going by verse by verse. or uh, Definitely we are going chapter by chapters, but it's in chronological order and we are talking as events after events. Devanath. Poi online lola, is in the Baki or Labagangal Karnaga, and Nale Tudor Noladam Vectama Mansilagatolo. Good, you good. All right, so uh, what now, where we stopped in morning was a mighty angel with trumpet. Amen. Now, Pagal Kalam Nurtia, or Wali or Shaktanaya do then Tankahla Tod and the Kuyana, right? Seventh seal. And then trumpets, seventh trumpet is not yet blown, but we see a mighty angel. Amen. Amen. Okay, wait. There are so many people who have missed it. Let me go with a revision. Quick revision. Amen. A quick recap. Chapter 1. What, what was that? Chapter 1. John in Patmos for Revelation. Chapter 2 and chapter 3 were the messages for seven churches. Chapter 4 was about, we saw the throne of God in heaven. And we also saw a book with seven seal. Chapter 5 was a challenge. It began with a challenge. Who is going to open this book? And then, in the later part of the chapter, Lamb of God was introduced to say that, yes, Lamb of God is going to open the seal. Right? Alright. Chapter 6 now the seals were open. There were six seals that were open. Is there anybody with good memory power to say, first seal, what did we see? White horse. Second seal, red horse. Third seal, black horse. Fourth seal, pale horse. Fifth seal, martyrdoms. And sixth seal, cosmic turbulence. But soon after sixth seal, there was a chapter in gap between sixth seal and seventh, seventh seal. And that chapter, in that chapter, what we learn, sealing up of Israel people of 144,000 on earth. And in heaven, what did we see? A multitude of people in heaven. Yeah? From all nations, from all tribes. We'll, there's no need of translation, so I'm just going with this. And we have seen that. Now, chapter 8 uh, seventh seal, seventh seal is broke, broken. Four trumpet is blown. We saw the fourth, four trumpet in chapter eight, and then in chapter nine, fifth and sixth trumpet is blown. In chapter ten, seventh trumpet is not blown, but before that, a mighty angel is introduced. All right. Now listen. Seventh trumpet is the time. When that is blown, Jesus is coming second time. So an angel is introduced. But he's not blowing. Now there is a pause between that trumpet and some events. Amen. In chapter 11, uh, you know, 11, 12, and 13, we are, these are the keys of the book of Revelation. Amen. In chapter 11, suddenly everything stops. And we are taken to a different scene. We are going to hear about two witnesses. We are, they will prophesy for three and a half years. In chapter 12, we will see a woman. In chapter 13, we are going to see beast, false prophet, 
and the mark of 666 wait going back going back so in you know important keys to understand revelation before the seventh trumpet is blown, God is telling us what's happening here. And that is what we are going to read. So, uh, you know, chapter uh, 11 to 13, Let's unlock what's happening there. The first thing that we see here is the two witness of Revelation. And it talks about Elijah and Moses will return to earth to prophesy for 42 months. There are youths sitting over here, kids sitting over here. I know you will not understand everything, but definitely you will know few things. It should be basic understanding. Now, um, uh, we are talking about two witnesses. But before we talk about that, I want to show you something very unique. The unique thing is, the book of Revelation has more Jewish symbols than the specific chapters of 1 to 3 which was for church. See, one to three chapters are normal chapters. Oh, there is no love in you. Oh, and, and you know, uh, a, a lot of false teachers are coming in. Church, purify yourself. Common things. And after that, up to sixth seal, it's all talking about famine, political power, war, which we can understand. It's common to us. But from chapter, from, from the seventh seal onwards, the whole language is different. It's all, the whole language is towards Jewish culture, Jewish practice. Because on this earth, now the whole thing is about Jews. Now you should understand Jerusalem and the places. You know, it's the crown jewel of Bible prophecy. If you know God started his covenant and promises with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You agree? You agree with that? Okay, so it all started from a Jewish background. And the whole system will end in Jewish background. It started in a Jewish background. It will end in Jewish background. The world system of Antichrist with using Jewish people. God will bring the whole world system of Antichrist okay. to an end. By using Jewish people. You know, Jesus, uh, church started with the death, resurrection, ascension of Jesus Christ. And Jesus commanded the church in Matthew 28, 19. Go ye therefore teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of Father, Son and Holy Ghost. So what happened is that as soon as Jesus commanded this, this, the whole mission was carried by church. It was not carried by Jewish people. It was carried on for 2,000 years by church. Jesus and most of the apostles were Jews. Jews are still waiting for their Messiah that will... that. And 
for, uh, as Messiah as a king. Amen. Yehuda mari poryum avarre raja vaya mashiye ke vendi kathri kenu. But that time, pashe as samayta. When all these things will happen, yes, karingal alla narakkana samayta. They will understand. Avar ko uri kari mansila ko. Messiah has already come. Amen. Mashiha vandu vendiyo. And next time he is coming again. Amen. Vindu mori kel kudi veriyi ana. You know what? Now when we talking about the Jewish. temple amen nam enge yehuda mara devalayate patti parayumbol soon after the resurrection and the death of jesus christ death and resurrection of jesus christ in 70 ad the second time built jerusalem temple was destroyed kartavinte maranathinu shesham uyartanam eduthippulla shesham ad 70 galil jerusalem devalayam veendum thagarkappettu and romans during the roman empire I mean either Roman samrajyathin samayathana and Jews lost their country they lost their temple Yehuda marka avare rajyavum avare devalayam nashtapaduvan idiyal People who have visited Israel Israel sandarshicha devamakkal Most of you have seen that temple avare le ee nashtu kadakkana ee devalayam kandu it, it is no more a temple it's a mosque I mean ippol adoru devalayam alla ippol adoru muslim palliyana and they, and still if you we went to that place of wall wailing wall i mean nam njangal ellam avada poi avadathe aa oru vilavam adil kandu did you see how these jews were crying and praying avada njangal kandathu yehudanmar avar karanju kondu prarthikkukayana did you see that adu ningal kandutto kando they were putting their head against their wall avar avara netti aa madil mel idichu kondu avar prarthikkukayana and you know what they are praying endana avar prarthikkana ariyamo this temple we have to rebuild this temple ee aaleya namakku veendum panidu uyartanam first time it was rebuilt amen adu aadiyam onnu panidu and then second time it was destroyed randamad adu veendum thagarkapettu up to this day inne divasam vare it is not rebuilt adu veendum panidittilla only a wall is there oru bitti mathrame ullu they are coming and beating their head against the wall avaru netti kondu aa madilil avaru aanyu aanyu idichu kondu they praying lord when are you going to build this temple avaru prarthikkana devume eppozhaanu ee devalayam veendum panidund paniyathu they said according to them the messiah should come avar parayunnathu mashiha veendum varanam and when messiah will come that by that time the temple has to be rebuilt mashiha varumbol ee devalayam panidu theerthirikkanam and that's what they are thinking of adana avar vicharikkunnathu and that's why they are still praying to for messiah to come adondana avar ippum prarthikkunnathu mashiha varuvan vendi so jews are still waiting for this promised land ee oru vaagdatha naadinu vendi yehuda mar ippolum kaathirikkukayana now jews don't have the i mean so what happened is that where in 1948 1948 israel became a nation israel oru rashtramayi maari so jews who lost their nation i mean nashtapetta yehuda mark they got it back in 1948 avarku 1948 il avarku rashtramayi lebichu in 1967 they got control over jerusalem 67 il avarku yerusalem pidichedukkuvan idayai till that time they didn't had control avarku athre naalo aa control illayirunnu these two end time even starts the countdown of the second coming of jesus christ ee rendu vyathyasthagaramaya karyangalana krithavinte randam varathilekku thodakkam idunnathu you know i want to I want you to read Revelation 11 verse 1 and 2. Will part pustakam 11th adhyayam 1 2 verse 1. You can you can see over here we will not go with Malayalam right now. You can read Malayalam back home, okay? We'll go from here. Then I was given a reed or a rod like a measuring rod and the angel stood saying rise and measure the temple of God, the altar and those who worship there, but leave out the court which is outside the temple and do not measure it for it has been given to Gentiles and they will tread the whole city under foot for 42 months that is 3 and a half years or 1260 days and i will give power to my two witness that they will prophesy 1260 days clothed in sackcloth wait let me let me explain this i mean idu onnu vyaktamayi njan onnu parayatte bible says no soon chapter 10 we finished with a mighty angel standing there amen 10th adhyayathil or shaktanaya or doodan avada kaahalam kondu nikkukiyana chapter 11 15th adhyayathil angel is doing nothing amen doodan onnum cheyunnilla we are not seeing what's happening to angel avada endana doodan sambhavikkunnathu namu kaanunnilla but the whole scene is different pashi ippol valare different anna oru scene aanu god is saying take a measuring rod amen devu paru oru oru alavu kol edukkuga and measure the temple annattu ee devalayam onnu alakkuga measure the temple ee devalayam onnu alakkuga oh measure the court amen idinde porathulla court onnu measure the altar idinde yagapeedam onnu measure kiya 
This is showing about rebuilding the Jerusalem temple. ഇത് യെരുഷലേം ദേവാലയം വീണ്ടും പുനർപണിയുന്ന കാര്യത്തെയാണ് കാണിക്കുന്നത്. That means as soon as the peace agreement starts, amen, ഒരു ഒരു സമാധാനത്തിന്റെ ഉടമ്പടി തുടങ്ങുമ്പോൾ Jews will start rebuilding the temple. യഹൂദന്മാർ അവരുടെ ആ ദേവാലയം പണിയാൻ തുടങ്ങും. And this is the scene of showing third time the temple will be rebuilt ee ka ee kaanunnadana moonamadai avar paniyunna devalayam so what what is happening is that as this temple is built ee devalayam panidu kali paniyumbol in the middle when the temple is built in 3 and 1/2 years i mean idu moonara varsha kaalam eduthana idu paniyunnathu by that time the antichrist is already there aa samayathi edirkristu undu but he is a good guy then pashe aa samayathu oru nalla vyakti aayittana none of us or none of the people of this world will ever know that this is antichrist amen lothulla aarkum manasilavathilla idu oru edirkristu aanu so here comes the answer of one of the question that most of the people ask amen ivadaanu palarum choichu oru chodyathinte uttaram varunathu if we believe in mid tribulation amen mahaudravad kaalathinte madhyabhagatha sabha edukkum we will know the timings when jesus is going to come and the rapture amen apol ad kartavu varunendeyum sabayude ulbhramanathinte samayam endanu that we, we can we can know that amen namak ad ariyan pattum no we cannot know namak ad ariyan sadikkittilla the reason is this kaaranam idana when antichrist comes in amen idr kristu varumbol we will not recognize that namak manasilagathilla only few people can recognize it valare churukkam chelarkku mathrame athre manasilagan see do you know an antichrist system is already started on this earth idr kristuvinte oru system ippol thanne logathonnu i say this now I will say 50% of the people will disagree 50% of the people will agree. ഇത് ഞാൻ പറയുമ്പോൾ 50% ഇതിനോട് യോജിക്കത്തില്ല 50% ഇത് യോജിക്കും. Yeah there are do you know that already the system is getting ready. ഇപ്പോൾ തന്നെ ലോകത്തിൽ ഈ ഒരു എതിർ ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ സിസ്റ്റം ഉണ്ട്. Even when that antichrist will come. Amen എതിർ ക്രിസ്തു വരുമ്പോൾ The first white horse comes. Amen ആദ്യത്തെ വെള്ള കുതിര വരുമ്പോൾ Amen you we we won't know i mean nam adu ariyathilla it's coming as a white horse i mean oru vella kudire aayittana varunathu exactly similar to jesus christ i mean karthavine anurubharayitta anurubham pole aanu varunathu he is going to be a good guy i mean oru nalla vyakthi enna reethilana varunathu so even when he comes i mean tham verumbol very few people will recognize that valare churukkam chilare ad manasilaagathullu you cannot start count down from there i mean avudunna oru ennal namukku thodangan pattathilla that's the that, see now when we are all talking oh do you see everything christ is coming how many of them believe that i mean nam ippo parayna ningal edhella kaanunno karthav vegam varunu etra peru ad vishwasikkunno how many people believe that etra peru വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ഏ പാസ്റ്റർ വിച്ച് വിച്ച് വേൾഡ് ആർ യു ലിവിങ് ആമേ അവർ ചോദിക്കും പാസ്റ്റർ നിങ്ങൾ ഏത് ലോകത്താണ് ദിസ് ഇസ് 21st സെഞ്ചുറി ഇത് 21 ആം നൂറ്റാണ്ടാണ് ലുക്സ് ലൈക്ക് എ കോമിക്സ് ആമേ ഇത് ഒരു ജസ്റ്റ് ഒരു കഥാപുസ്തകം പോലെയുണ്ട് യു നോ ഐ മീൻ വി കൻ നോട്ട് ഈവൻ തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ആമേ ഇതിനെ പറ്റി ചിന്തിക്കാൻ പോലും സാധിക്കില്ല ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ദ സെയിം ദൻ ഓൾസോ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ സോ കൗണ്ടിംഗ് ദി ഡേയ്സ് വോണ്ട് ബി ദാറ്റ് ഈസി വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ഈ ദിവസങ്ങൾ എണ്ണുന്ന അത്ര വലിയ സോ നോ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദീസ് ടൈം ഈ സമയത്ത് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ 3 ആൻഡ് 1/2 ഇയേഴ്സ് ഈ മൂന്നര വർഷത്തിനു ശേഷം വെൻ വിൽ ദിസ് ബി റിവീൽഡ് എപ്പോഴാണ് ഇത് വെളിപ്പെടുന്നത് വെൻ actually anti christ comes and take the seat and the throne of jerusalem temple amen ee jerusalem devalayathile simhasanam ee edir christu vannu irikkumbolana namukku manasilagathu that will be the time everybody in this world will know oh this was anti christ aa samayathana namukku manasilavunnathu idana edir christu vennu and before that adinu munbe church is already taken up sabha edukkapadu whether mid or pre amen idha mid aayirikkum pre aayirikkum it's already taken out sabha edukka edukkapadu so this guy will take charge of the throne amen ee vyakti idha simhasanam etedukkum that will be the time when Israelites and Jews will be against antichrist. ആ സമയത്ത് ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളും യഹൂദന്മാരും ഈ എതിർക്രിസ്തുവിനെ എതിരായി മാറും. Till that time ആ സമയം വരെ antichrist is their person. Amen. എതിർക്രിസ്തു അവരുടെ ഒരു വ്യക്തി ആയിരിക്കും. Because കാരണം he is giving permission to build the temple. ഈ ദേവാലയം പണിയുവാനുള്ള പെർമിഷൻ കൊടുക്കുന്നത് ഈ വ്യക്തിയാണ്. He is the one who is encouraging them. ഇവരെ എൻകറേജ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഈ വ്യക്തി ആയിരിക്കും. They will never suspect this guy. ഈ വ്യക്തി ഒരിക്കലും സംശയിക്കത്തില്ല. But on that പക്ഷെ ആ ദിവസത്തിൽ മൂന്നര വർഷത്തിന് ശേഷം ഈ കോൺട്രാക്ട് ഒക്കെ ബ്രേക്ക് ചെയ്യും ഈ സിംഹാസനം ഏറ്റെടുക്കും അപ്പോൾ അവർക്ക് മനസ്സിലാകും അവിടെ വെച്ചാണ് ഈ രണ്ട് സാക്ഷികളുടെ അവരുടെ ശുശ്രൂഷ തുടങ്ങുന്നത് അവരുടെ ശുശ്രൂഷ അവിടെ വെച്ച് അവിടെ തുടങ്ങും also refers two witnesses shown in revelation chapter 11 the two anointed ones that stand before the lord of the whole earth 
So, according to the prophecy of Revelation chapter 11, the Jerusalem temple which was destroyed has to be rebuilt the third time. See, after three and a half years, again Gentiles will take over for three and a half years. And you know, and I, these all things I already told, so we'll go forward. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4 says, Let no man deceive you. By any means, for that day shall not come except their coming and falling away first. That man of the sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called God and that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is the time when Antichrist is revealed. <laughs> So, you know what, when we talk about this two witness, you know, Prophet Moses and Elijah, they will appear. Now, they are going to preach. And they are going to preach against Antichrist. Now, remember one more thing. Most of the preachers are gone. Amen. Church is already gone. Who is going to preach? God is going to send these two people. You know, it's very hard for us to believe this. But God is going to send these two preachers. And because of the preaching of these prophets, even though after three and a half years, Antichrist is taking over control, but because of the preaching, Antichrist will never take full control over Jewish people. Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. And Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. The next one. Next slide. Next slide. And it's written, Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Amen. Um, it's the next slide, actually. It's the next slide. Yes. So, okay, Malachi. Right? In Old Testament, behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. This is a prophecy in Old Testament. And so, what happened is that many Jews have been waiting for Elijah to appear to prepare the way for Messiah on earth from thousands of years. I will answer one more question now here. Why Jews don't believe Jesus Christ as Messiah? According to them, Elijah should come. According to them, Elijah never came. So Messiah didn't come. That is the one of the main reason why they don't believe in the incarnation of Jesus Christ as Messiah. But they didn't understand that Messiah, Jesus has first and second coming. Elijah and Moses both appeared to Jesus on Transfiguration Mount during first coming. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Okay, so what once these disciples were knowing that Elijah should come. And that's why in Matthew 17 10. Okay, see, when they say, the scribes, the disciples are asking, when, why then say the scribes, that means Malachi in Old Testament, why the scribes says that Elias must first come, disciples ask Jesus. 
Why did they say that? And Jesus answered and said, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. That means Jesus is not denying that Elias will not come or Elijah will not come. He's saying, yes, he will come. But he gives an answer. But I say unto you that Elias is come. Come on, are you re reading? Please read with me so that I feel like you are following me. Uh, Elias is come already. come already. And they knew him? Not. I, he already came. And they, they means who? Scribes and Jews. They didn't know. Okay. But have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the son of man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Amen. You got it? You got it? So they were saying, hey, Elijah should come, right? So Jesus said, yeah, he will come, definitely. But he already came. But according to them, they never knew about it. See, this is exactly happening today. It is very hard for us to believe this. It is very hard for us to believe this. Shishem Mar Karthavan Yes, Elia already Our brain, our brain will not accept this. It is very difficult. But we need to pray to the Lord. The Lord, can you open the eyes of my faith, O Lord? Amen. Youths and kids, I just wanted this is not a story. This is the future. What is going to happen? So Jesus confirms here that literal Elijah would come before the second coming. But John the Baptist, who is a symbolic of Elijah, prepared the during his first coming. You know, the transfiguration vision, if you have seen that recorded in Matthew chapter 17 of Elijah and Moses is a foreshadow of two witnesses of revelation standing before Jesus of the Lord of the whole earth. The the experience of Transfiguration Mount was just a shadow of what is going to happen. So Moses and Elijah, they are the two central figures of Jewish faith. You know, and they will return to earth for 42 months to preach. Because we read that in Revelation. And during this preaching, many of the Jews will believe in Messiah. Let's read uh, Revelation 11, 5 and 6. Come on, let's read together, please. Engage yourself, please. And if anyone wants to harm them, them means whom? Moses and I, two witness. Fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven that no rain falls in the day of their prophecy. And they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. Do you see anybody in this thing? Is there any similarity somewhere in Old Testament? Any similarity in Old Testament? Elijah can shut and he can open the heavens. And Moses? He can bring the plague whenever he wants. He will stuck on water and water will turn. Blood. So that is what, see, this is how the things will be during a picturized symbol of what's happening there. It will be drought all over. And blood. 
amen vellam rakthamai maarum and these two witnesses you know through their preaching a great revival will come ivara rendu vera prasangathil koodi valaiyala revival nadakkum it will be just like moses before pharaoh amen pharaoh ne mumbil ninda moshe poli irikku you know he as he went and he was preaching he was demonstrating the power of god amen avada prasangichappol devathinte shaktiye prakadamaakkuvayirunnu you know and when antichrist will take over jerusalem amen edir christu yerushalem etedukkumbol but elijah and moses they are going to prophesy the book of revelation amen velipada pusthakam eliyavu mosheyum avada pravachichu parayan pogiyana so antichrist is not going to get the full control amen edir christuvinu poornamaya oru control labikkukilla it will be during that time aa samayath irikkum many will hate amen anegar ishtapadadu varu many will hate these two witnesses amen ee rendu saakshigale ishtapadadu varu now i want to show you something very interesting amen valare pradhanyam ere oru kaari njan kanikkatte on december 23 2016 united nations voted for Uh, to approve un resolution in regard to the legality of jews having certain parts of jerusalem december 23 2016 il un avar vote cheyadu ee resolution labikkuvan vendi because Jew, they they have to make le- some legal positions of jews over jerusalem and whole gentile nations they attacked against this one ഇതിനെതിരായിട്ട് സകല ജാതിക രാഷ്ട്രങ്ങളും ഇരിഷിലേമ എതിരായിട്ട് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ട്രംപ് സൈൻ ആൻഡ് എക്സിക്യൂട്ടീവ് ഓർഡർ ഡിക്ലറിംഗ് യു എസ് എ വിൽ റെക്കഗ്നൈസ് ജെറുസലേം ആസ് ദി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് ഇസ്രായേൽ ട്രംപ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ലെറ്റർ സൈൻ ചെയ്തു യെരുഷലേം ആയിരിക്കും ഇസ്രായേലിന്റെ തലസ്ഥാനമെന്ന് 128 കൺട്രീസ് ഓപ്പോസ്ഡ് ആമേൻ 128 രാജ്യങ്ങൾ ഇതിന് എതിരായിട്ട് വന്നു ഓൺലി 9 കൺട്രീസ് സ്റ്റുഡ് വിത്ത് ഒമ്പത് രാജ്യങ്ങൾ മാത്രമേ യു എസ് ന്റെ ആ ഒരു കാര്യത്തിൽ ഹിയർ യു കാൻ സീ ഹൗ മച്ച് ഹേറ്റ്രഡ് ദി നേഷൻ ഹാസ് towards the people of god ivada namu kaanam endu maatram jaadiga rashtrangalukku israel janathodulla verup undennu but you know what during that time aa samayathu god will send moses and elijah to support the nation of israel amen mosheyum eliyavum aikyum israel makkalku vendi that's why we believe adu kondana nam vishwasikkunnathu when no one stands with us amen aarum nammude oda ninnillengilo god can send his angels devathine thande doodamare aikkuvan sadhikkum nations will be against amen rajyangal namukku edirai nikkum kingdom will be against rashtrangal നമുക്ക് എതിരായി നിൽക്കും but if god has to bring a person from heaven to support the nation god will bring elijah and moses to support this nation amen devam thande eliyavine mosheyum aichukonde ee rajyathinu vendi kooda nilkum but here i want to reveal the character of god pashe ivide ninnu konde devathinte swabhavathe petti njan parayatte i want to tell my church ende sabhayodu njan prakaram parayatte if you are standing for faith amen ningal vishwasathinu vendi nilkkuvanu no matter who opposes you amen aarakke edirthengilo no matter who stands with you aarengil ningal But remember one thing. പക്ഷേ ഒരു കാര്യം നിങ്ങൾ ഓർത്തുകൊള്ളുക. I have said this before. ആ മേ ഇത് നേരത്തെ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട്. If my God has to empty heaven to bring his angels down to protect you and to seal you, my God is ready to empty heavens for his people's sake. നമ്മളെ സംരക്ഷിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി സ്വർഗം ശൂന്യമാക്കി തന്റെ ദൂതന്മാരെ അയക്കണമെങ്കിലും ദൈവം അത് ചെയ്തിരിക്കും. Do you believe that can you can you praise God? ആ മേ അത് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദൈവം നമ്മെ മഹാത്മാവാക്കും. Just believe this. സഭ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു. Just believe this. It is wishes to chalo. No one will stand for us. Ah, namakka vendi aaram nilkukilla. Government will not stand for us. Ee samrajya namakku vendi nilkukilla. Nation will not stand for us. Loka namakku vendi nilkukilla. But my God. Pashe ende deiva. He will empty heaven. Ame swargam shunyavake. Whatsoever is required. Ame endakka vena nikkilla. He will do. Namakku vendi chedirikkum. During this time. Ee samayathu. For nation of Israel. Ame ee Israel jana. There is nobody. Ame namakku vendi aaram nilkilla. Nobody to support. Avarkku support yeraa nilkilla. And like crisis against him. Yeah. Christ boleyum avarku edirana what my god is doing pashe ende devam endanu cheyyunnathu thanna swargam thorannu konde bringing moses and elijah moshe me eliyavine thaayukku varana avarku adhigaram undu moses who can turn the plagues and who can bring plagues amen moshe thanikku baadhagale veendum aichu vida elijah who can shut heaven and open heaven amen eliyavine swargam thorakkuvanu madakkuvanu adhigaram undu god is bringing the most great people to witness the nation of israel amen etom shaktaraya rendu veriyana sakshigalayittu israel makkal nilakkanu nu vishwasikkamo devam idu namukku cheyyo how many people believe god will do the best for me amen devam enikku vendi etom nalladhu cheyyo we need to believe god will do the best for us amen devam enikku vendi etom nalladhu cheyyo amen devam enikku vendi etom nalladhu cheyyo amen devam enikku vendi etom nalladhu cheyyo we need to believe god will do the best for us amen vishwasikkana devam namukku vendi nalladhu cheyyo there is no second and third grade for us amen namukku rendamathiyo moonamathe guna nalladhu cheyyo whatever god does devam endu cheyyalo he do the best etom mikachadana nenu tande paththathiyum etom mikachadana devam etom Mega Chalayano. 
believe give God glory on and praise my God is the best God he can do all things possible for me hallelujah Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Revelation 11, 7 to 10. Amen. Let's read it all together. When they finish their testimony, who? Moses and Elijah. The beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in, his, in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the people's tribes, tongues, and nation will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into grace and those who dwell on earth will rejoice over them make merry send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth so this is the great event they will be hated and they will be beaten and they will be killed so they will be killed. And what is happening in heaven? People will make parties. They will be make parties. Oh, we got him. We got him. The big parties are there. And they will exchange gifts. Exchange gifts. Because now there is nobody to torment us. So... But what, what is happening is, ah, after three and a half days, as everybody is seeing, but Moses and Elijah resurrects. They resurrects from the dead. And Revelation 11, 9 to 12 says, and they of the people and Kindred and tongues and nations shall see the dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon earth shall rejoice over them and make merry, shall send gifts to one to another because of these two prophets tormented them and dwelt them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life. Come on, read together. The spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood up upon their feet and a great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and this is the second resurrection. First resurrection, rapture of church. Now here in the middle of the tribulation. To witness they are resurrected. Come up here. The Lord is saying. Oh you are done. You have done a tremendous ministry. When there was nobody else. You preach. My plan is fulfilled. Hallelujah. So Jesus says, come up here. Now when Antichrist and his people will see Moses and Elijah ascended to heaven, they will make plans to take over entire nation of Israel because as long as Moses and Elijah was there, they were not able to take control over that is where Antichrist is planning a battle called Battle of Armageddon. Megiddo is a place. Hope people who visited they still Remember this. We were in this place. We took a lot of photos and videos. Our Bauchan was very adamant. We need to go this place. This was not in the plan actually. But he said we need to go there. He said, he, because he believed because when the war is happening, I am not there, right? I am in heaven. So I want to see that before. That. 
ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ സ്ഥലം കാണണമെന്ന് ആഗ്രഹിച്ചു പോയി ഞങ്ങൾ ലോകത്തിലെ സകല യുദ്ധ സൈന്യങ്ങളും അവിടെ കൂടെ ചേരുന്നതാണ് അർമദവും ാണ് ഉണ്ടായി <laughs> Is that okay? All right. Okay, chapter 12. Amen, 12th chapter. And uh, verse 1 to 6. If you can read read with me. I need some energy, please. Now a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet and on her head a garland of 12 stars then being with child she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth what do you see a woman is there who is pregnant with a child and on her head there is a crown how, uh, that crown how many how many crowns are there like seven stars 12 stars seven uh, no garland is of 12 stars yes garland is of 12 star and then verse 3 and another sign appeared in heaven behold a great fiery red dragon having seven heads seven heads and 10 seven heads and 10 horns 10 horns and seven diadems on his head that is crowns on his head his tail drew a third of the star of heaven and threw them on the earth and the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born she bore a male child who was to rule all nation with a rod of iron and her child was what's the word child was caught up three places where we heard caught up church second moses, moses and elijah now here Amen. caught up uh, up to god and his throne then the woman fled into wilderness where she has a place prepared by god that they should feed her there for 1260 days or how many months 42 months or years so three and a half years what all things we saw three two witnesses and now for three and a half years we are seeing something else okay this is an analogy a symbolic presentation of this woman if you see if you can pictureize this this is the woman she is pregnant she got seven stars uh, and there is a dragon with how many heads seven heads and uh, and with uh 10 horns right so these are the symbolic thing we'll just try to explain this woman is picturized as israel is three ennu parayunnathu israel ne kaanikkukayana this is the most prominent view i mean idane etam koodal namak manasilavunna oru view because she got 12 12 stars which symbolizes 
ഇസ്രായേൽ ഗാഡ് ട്വൽവ് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് നാം ഇസ്രായേൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കാരണം പന്ത്രണ്ട് നക്ഷത്രങ്ങളുണ്ട് പന്ത്രണ്ട് നക്ഷത്രങ്ങൾ പന്ത്രണ്ട് ഗോത്രങ്ങളെ കാണിക്കുന്നു ഇതാ ഒരു ശിശുവായിട്ട് നാം കാണുന്ന ഈ സ്ത്രീയെ സകല ജാതികളെയും ഭരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഒരു which is not which is symbolized as jesus christ adu kartava yeshuvine aanu kaanikkunnathu showing what has happened in the history amen charithrathil nadana oru sambhavam aanu kaanikkunnathu israel israel she is pregnant with a child ida oru shishuvine darichu among israel jewish people jesus came in amen yehuda marra edil ninnu kartava yeshu vannu and there was a dragon ida oru dragon undu seven heads and Ten horns means ten horns are ten kingdom. Amen. Eight thalagalum, patth kumbugalum. Patth kumbugal kaani kena patth rajjingal. And seven uh, shows seven divisions. Amen. Eight kaani kena, eight thalagal kaani kena, eight vetthis the divisions ana. Okay, so Satan who was ruling... This is red dragon is Satan who was ruling over seven regions. I mean he dragon nu kanikkunnathu pishaje eezhu rajyangalai bharichondirikkukayirunnu. He was there to kill the child. I mean he kushishuvine konnugalayavan vendiyana ee dragon avanu thayathu. And he did everything that he could do. Thanikku cheyanna sagalathum cheyidu. But what happened? Pashi endu sambhavichu? The child was caught up. ഈ ജനിച്ച ശിശു സ്വർഗത്തിലേക്ക് എടുക്കപ്പെട്ടു ഒന്നും ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിച്ചില്ല മരുഭൂമിയിലേക്ക് ഓടിപ്പോകുകയാണ് പന്ത്രണ്ടാം അധ്യായം ആറാം വാക്യത്തിൽ പ്രകാരം പറയുന്നു മരുഭൂമിയിലേക്ക് ഓടി രക്ഷപ്പെടും 1260 days or 42 months or 3 and 1/2 years avade 3 varsha kalam avalku vendi deivam orikkirikkunna oru stalam undu there can we support this one somewhere i mean idu namak evadengilum vera evadengilum do we have a supporting document for this idinu vendi support cheyana vera edengil charithram undo look 21 22 to 24 lucas nu sushesham 21 nam adhyayam 20 mudal let's read let's read together namak orumichu vaaikkam and when ye shall see jerusalem compassed with armies then know that the desolation thereof is nigh then let them come on read please read loudly judea. then let them which are in judea. judea flee to the mountains do you see people who are in judea means you are talking about jewish people jewish israel they will flee to mountains, mountains and let them which are in the midst of it depart out and let not them that are in the countries enter there into for these be the days of come on read it vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled but wow unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captives into all nations and jerusalem shall be trodden down of the gentiles until the time of the gentiles be fulfilled a parallelism of revelation and when jesus was on this earth amen velipadu pustakathil nam kaanunna adum kartava yesu christu bhoomiyil ulla samayam thammilulla oru parallel karyam aanu nammal ivada kaanunnathu so this is happening in 42 months right amen idu 42 maasangal nadakkunnathu so israel is been somewhere first sealed amen aadyam israel makkal mudra vekkapadum do you remember that adu orkunnundo sealed avaru mudra vekkapadum and then we see in a different scene two witness coming i mean matthew bagathe rendu witness varunnunde for 42 months avar 42 maasa ivada kaanu and in another scene we are saying in 42 months israel is protected in a particular place i mean matthew bagathe nam kaanunna ee 42 maasa israel makkal vera edo bagathe avaru surakshadaraana see it is an old testament scenario again i mean veendum oru palaye neemathile oru scenario aanu nam kaanunnathu you know the way how god used moses to take care of israelites now moses and elijah they are taking care of israelites in this end time amen nam palaye neemathi kaanuna pole moshe meliyal epragaram israel makkalku vendi avarku vendi protect cheyado adu pole enna deivam veendu avarku vendi cheyyana don't don't forget that they all 
they all are lifted high they ascended to heaven but i am talking before they ascended this was the ministry of moses and elijah nam kandu moshe meliyavum swargathilekku edukkappettu pashu avar bhoomil ulla pol idan avaru cheyathu part by part we are seeing amen aaditha bhagavathu are you able to comprehend this amen idu chiri buddhimutha we are seeing part by part idu nammal part by part aayirana kaanunnathu so you know the same way how elijah fed that widow i mean eliya va a oru vidavayke eppragaramana sahayichathu right you know for three and a half years when the heavens were shut sky was shut he fed them i mean moondra varsha kaalam aagasham ellam adanjirunna pol eppragaram vidavayke vidavayke vendi now you have a question how god is going to protect the whole israel because the israel is scattered i mean israel makkal chadri poya pol engane devam avarku vendi karudum answer i mean ipragaram oru uttaram undu amos amos chapter 9 verse 14 and 15 amos pravachana pustakam 9th adhyayam 14 and 15 let's read together i will bring my people israel back from exile they will rebuild the ruins rebuild the ruined cities and live in them they will plant vineyards and drink their wine they will make gardens and eat their fruit i will plant israel in their own land never again to be uprooted from the land i have given them amen up to this day they were uprooted several times i mean ee divasam vare avar pala thavana avar but a time is coming but sure samayam verunnu god is bringing all jews back I mean, to israel ella yehudamarum veendum madangi yerukku it already started do you th- do you know that i mean adu already thodangi kaniyo do you know that it's already started i mean adu thodangi kaniyo there are organizations who are working on it i mean agency ullonde ivare veendum madaki kondu varu jews are coming back yehudamarum veendum madangi verukkana bible says i will give them i mean vajanam parayunnu njan avarku nalgi kodukku i will give them this land for one more time i mean ee ദേശ ഞാൻ അവർക്ക് ഒരിക്കൽ കൊടുക്കും they will rebuild it അവർ വീണ്ടും അതിനെ പണിയും they will rebuild the temple അവർ വീണ്ടും ആലയം പണിയും and then they will live there അവർ അവിടെ താമസിക്കും and they will not be scattered from there വീണ്ടും അവർ അവിടെ നിന്ന് ചതറി പോകത്തില്ല from there അവിടുന്ന് i will protect them ഞാൻ അവരെ സംരക്ഷിക്കും they will be under my protection അവർ എൻ്റെ സംരക്ഷണത്തിനായി ഓ can we praise god for this great prophecy do you just do you see this prophecy amen ഈ ഒരു പ്രവചനം നമുക്ക് ഒന്ന് കാണാമോ it is very hard for us to believe നമുക്ക് വിശ്വസിക്കാൻ But can we ask Holy Spirit? Lord, if this is a truth, please open my eyes, O Lord. Can somebody pray that, Lord, help me to understand this? Because the Bible is very clear about it. Only wise can understand. Wise not in the sense of world, but wise in the sense of spirituality. Like those wise words, virgins amen anya buddhiyulla kanyagamare pole let us get ready for this amen idinu vendi namukku thayar edukka can we pray a prayer along with that amen idinu koppam thana oru prarthana namukku prarthikkam help me lord devame sahayikkaname revelation 12 7 to 12 says amen velipadu pusthakam 12 7 mudal 12 vare let's read together finish it very quickly oru minute mukku vaikka and the come on read and the war broke out, broke out in heaven michael and, his michael and his angels fought with the dragon, dragon. this is and the scene so first scene was two witness second scene was israelites going to wilderness and this is a third scene now okay Amen. this is happening in 42 months third scene what's happening in 42 months michael and his angel fought with the come on read dragon, dragon. and the dragon and his angels fought but they, but they did not prevail. prevail nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer in heaven any longer, any longer. so the great dragon was cast out the serpent of old called the devil and satan who deceives the whole world he was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him then i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now salvation and strength and the kingdom of god and the power of his christ have come for the accuser of our brethren who accused them before god day and night has been cast down and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony and they did not love their lives to death therefore rejoice rejoice o heaven and you who dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that his a short time 
you understand what's happening now this is the third and the scene amen is the fourth two months what's happening third scene 42 maasangal nadakkana moonamatha kaaryam anadhu two witness good amen rendu sakshigal undu we know the full story of two witnesses aa rendu sakshigalde kadha namukku we know the full story of the israel now amen israel makkalde kadha namukku now something is happening in heaven amen po swargathil endakke sambhavikkunnu fight in heavenly places not armagedon amen swargathil oru yuddham nadakkunnu it's not armagedon idu armagedon yuddham alla it's in heaven idu swargathil nadakkana oru yuddham aanu you know what Michael and his army is fighting with this devil I mean, dragon. Michael and his army are fighting with another dragon. It's a fight in heavenly realms. I mean, 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 it's a fight in heavenly His access is not denied. I mean, access is denied yet, Trilla. No, his access is not at all denied. I mean, access is not denied yet, Trilla. He got access. I mean, he put him on access under. And what he does actually? Yen da ni put him chayi under. Simply, he's accusing everybody. I mean, all of them, uh, ang pati parai jo under. Oh, see, see him, see him. I mean, love it take under. Oh, see him, see him. You know? Oh, see her. Oh, see him. Oh, see what he is doing. Oh, see what he is doing. Whose duty is this? I mean, ida arra chamadali ani ida chayi under. Right? We should not be the agent of this devil. I mean, he or the pishaj is the agent that we are here. See him. Lavakti akando. See him. Lavakti akando. Did you see that? Ladu akando ningala. These are the agencies of devil. I mean, the pishaj is the agent that is here. And he is the accuser. But all of our all are accusing. In the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the book of Job, we see that. That Job in the terrible war is going on and there is a great war going on and satan is casted down to earth amen pishaj ne bhoomi lekku aikkugana and what we read was now hereafter he has no more access to heaven adine shesham swargathilekku or access pishaj ne illa and in heaven it will be a great shout of victory amen swargathil vali or gosham aikkum jayathinte oh salvation belongs to the lord amen rakshakar devathinte pakkal undu we have we have received the victory namakku jayam labichirikkunu by the blood of the lamb amen ee rakunyaadu rakthamu Word of testimony. Amen. What is it in the Sakshi me praga? Woe unto the earth. Oh, the boomy lola varode. Because now no longer on heaven. Amen. Ni sorger salangal lala. He is now on earth. Ida abba boomy lana. And now he is more vigorous to work because he knows his time. is limited in pishaj valare shaktiyoda pravartikkum karanam ta pishajana ariyam ini adhiya samayam illa and in chapter 13 ini 13th adhyayathil three things are coming up moonu karyangal velippidugayana rise of antichrist now we will know who is antichrist amen ippol ore edir kristu uyarthu veriyana ippol namak ariyam aara edir kristu fourth picture during 42 and a half years amen ida 42 maasam 42 months in for we are not going to discuss today i mean adu nammal innu chindikkatilla we will do this on wednesday i mean budhanaachu nam chindikkunnayirikku we will explore who is this antichrist aara ee edir kristu ennu nam budhanaachu nam chindikkunnayirikku antichrist has a partner i mean ee edir kristu vinu oru partner undu do you know that satan got trinity i mean pishajinum oru trutham undu nariyamo antichrist edir false prophet kalla pravajagan and serpent ida palaye paambu we will discuss this adine petti nam chindikkunnayirikku on wednesday budhanaachu nam chindikkunnayirikku make sure you are coming നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും ബുധനാഴ്ച വരുവാൻ ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹം Are you really interested in this? ഇതിനെ പറ്റി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആഗ്രഹം You want to learn this. ഇത് പഠിക്കുവാൻ ആഗ്രഹമുണ്ടോ? That's the reason why I ask all the youths to actually join with us in the Bible study. അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് സകല യൗവനക്കാരോട് ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചു പറഞ്ഞത് ഈ ബൈബിൾ സ്റ്റഡിക്ക് വേണ്ടി നിങ്ങൾ വരണം. Church one thing our hope should be in Jesus Christ. നമ്മുടെ പ്രത്യാശ കർത്താവ് യേശു ക്രിസ്തു വരെ ആയിരിക്കണം. Christ is coming soon. നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് വീണ്ടും വരും. Every eyes to be closed. എല്ലാ കണ്ണുകളും അടഞ്ഞിരിക്കും. Can we all rise up in the presence of the Lord? നമ്മളാരിക്കും സ്ഥാനത്ത് നിന്ന് എഴുന്നേൽക്കുക. Get prepared. Get prepared. നമുക്കൊന്ന് ഒരുങ്ങാം. The Lord is coming soon. കർത്താവ് വേഗം വരുന്നുണ്ട്. We don't know when this antichrist is going to be revealed. എപ്പോൾ യദർക്രിസ്തു വെളിപ്പെടും എന്ന് നമുക്കറിയില്ല. We don't know when the trumpet is going to sound. എപ്പോൾ കാഹളം ധ്വനിക്കും എന്ന് നമുക്കറിയില്ല. We don't know what's happening around. എന്താണ് ചുറ്റും നടക്കുന്നത് നമുക്കറിയില്ല. Live as if Jesus is coming today. അവൻ നാം ജീവിക്കുന്ന 
believe that? How many of you believe that? Will you lift your holy hands in the presence of the Lord? I want to tell you, you know what? There is a big shout in heaven. Salvation belongs to our Lord. Come on, do it. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Let us take victory by the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you encouraged? That no matter what, our Lord is with us. No matter what, our God is with us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Can we give up a big hand to Jesus? A big hand to Jesus. Do you see Christ is coming soon? Do you see Christ is coming soon? Come on, church, be excited. Christ is coming soon. Let us be washed. Let us believe in this Jesus. And let us believe and worship this Lord. Let's give God glory, honor, and praise. Amen.